good day. <laughs> I should basically say, wow, that's really nice. <laughs> I should pretty much say good evening because it is nearly 4pm and I've only just got ready for the day. Lockdown's hitting me hard, okay? It's hitting me hard. So instead of dwelling on me doing absolutely nothing today, we're not going to. I had a whale of a time. I watched half of the first season of Bridgerton, which is the only Bridgerton, which is the only season out in the minute. I watched half of that. Probably going to watch the other half later. <laughs> and I ate chocolate fingers and drank coffee. Literally have achieved nothing else. So I decided I'm going to do a pamper evening, a little glow up if you will <laughs> doubt it but to start off i am going to take a walk to the co-op because i have done probably a total of about 20 steps today to the loo to the kitchen to the settee so i'm gonna go for a walk and then i come back i'm gonna work out because i'm starting chloe ting's 2021 challenge so i might be doing a video on it if i actually manage to complete it Put it out there now. It's just gotta happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really trying to do my hair. I'm just brushing it because it's been up. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the shop. I did keep this, by the way. I can't help it. I love it. Let's go, bachas. <laughs> Is it just me that gets like the fear of going outside? Like I have like anxiety anyway, <laughs> but you know when you've been inside all day and you go outside and you're like, oh my fucking God, this is the worst thing in the world. That's literally what I just had going to Tesco. <laughs> yeah, I went Tesco instead of co-op because it was closer and I was like, I need to be back inside now, please. But I'm now in the car because I've realized I need to pop to boots. So that's what I'm gonna do. Is anyone else still not used to shopping centres being like complete, complete ghost towns? I can't talk. Complete ghost towns. It's crazy. The Christmas lights are still up though. Oh, <laughs> that's so pretty. And I'm home. Let me tell you, I just got caught in a fucking monsoon put these fairy lights on get a bit get a bit baby my puffer sleeve jacket is too fat to get down sorry you're what now my puffer sleeve jacket is too fat to get down yeah okay my kitchen is a mess and i hate it even though it's my own mess and i haven't cleaned okay i've had this curry in a pot for 48 hours? Am I still okay to eat it? There's no meat in it. The sweet potato, butter beans, spinach, curry. Anyway. So I still plan on working out today. Although it's like edging 5 p.m. Um, and I'm fucking ravenous. All I know is I'm so ravenous I can barely see. Nevertheless, I'm too excited to not try my new um, flavour drops for my protein. I actually the hazelnut ones. I still love hazelnuts. I really want to try them in a cup of coffee. Um, I feel like I'm going to have a cup of coffee and a snack before I do any sort of fucking working out. Now, I I have walked quite a bit today. <laughs> Trying to jump. Just gonna fill up the kettle and boil it. Take on my you want me. My upstairs neighbour, I'm in the ground I'm on the ground floor and it's just one floor above me. All my other neighbours, I don't know if it's because they're actually not attached to me, so I can't like hear them and they don't bother me. But my upstairs neighbour, directly above me, let me tell you, he's not in all day. All day, he's not there. And then it's evening, I'm chilling, I've got my dinner, I'm sitting down to watch something and then this absolutely fucking blasting like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, music coming from upstairs. Sometimes I'm like, you do you, hun. Crack on. Other times I'm like, shut the fuck up because I actually can't, like I'm trying to watch TV, my TV's at a normal volume and I can't actually 
cure it. And then last night, oh, fucking last night, 2 a.m. 2 a.m. I'm fast asleep in bed. I'm asleep on my little sausage dog's pillow. He comes bounding down the stairs, opens like the main entrance door um, and fucking slams it shut. And I'm like, where the bloody hell, firstly, are you going? Where's your mother? He's literally like a fully grown man. But like, oh my God, if you live in a, such a small building with only like four flats in it, please shut the fuck up. Like, just do things a bit quieter. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, rant over. My kitchen light is rank. It's like one of those annoying white lights and it makes a camera flicker, so like, <laughs> soz. Anyway, got my infamous fuck yeah mug. Why am I so hyper all of a sudden? Do you know what it is? I didn't have any human interaction all day and then I went out to the shops and now I'm like, ah, fucking hell. Oh no, I haven't got any spoons. Right, this is sugar, Beth. I need the coffee. Nest Cafe Gold Blend is the elite of the instant coffees. Fight me. Is this spoon okay? Mm, no. I'll give it a rinse. You may say I'm a dreamer. Coffee is going in. A bit too much. I'm gonna do dairy milk. Sorry about it. I don't know what it is. When I have almond milk in a coffee shop, love it. Literally can't get enough. When I do it at home, I think it tastes like piss. Do I get the barista one? Is it any different? I'm gonna put the flavour drops in before I do the water. Controversial. You're now propped up against my pot of said curry. Here they are, hazelnut ones. Um, I think you have blah, 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 seven to ten drops. Okay, girl. So like midway point. Ooh, smells good. Then we need the water. Two shots of water. Taste. Literally just don't look at my snack cupboard. Okay, stop. Stop it! Immaculate. That is delightful. So I've got the old box light out. The light in here is like really shit. And if I want to film in the evening, May as well get the old light out, do you know what I mean? I have a questionable outfit on. I'm wearing like a sports bra and then a long sleeve women's best top. I've got the leggings to go with this, but I'm actually wearing joggers. <laughs> and I'm wearing joggers because, to put it bluntly, I am on my period and tight leggings are just not the one for me right now. I'm going to do a dance workout that I found on YouTube and it looks like it's going to absolutely kill me off, but sweet. Let's go. All she wanna do is party all night. I'm pretty sure she's just trying to kill me then. I am sweaty. Okay, I'm going to shower. Tonight I'm gonna have like a proper shower. I'm gonna do my exfoliating and shaving and all that shit. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use because obviously you're not gonna come in the shower with me, hens. So this is the shampoo I'm gonna use. I'm a big fan of the Garnier Ultimate Blends. Got the coconut macadamia at the minute. I usually, however, use the banana one, but I was running out and I'm gonna use the banana deep conditioner. I'm also gonna use the Bleach London Silver Shampoo because I am blonde and especially when I'm tanned, this really helps my hair to like pop. And then, obviously I'm gonna shave my whole body with this and I'm gonna use my American Cream Shower Gel from Lush and exfoliating gloves to, you know, exfoliate. <laughs> I look insane. So I am... Um, out of the shower, I've got a face mask on. This is the one I am using. Um, Georgia had this and I tried it at her house a couple of times and I was like, that's amazing. So she got it for me for Christmas. It's by a brand called Bloomtown and it's called The Clearing. Um, it has charcoal and tea tree. And it's my favorite charcoal mask because it doesn't go hard. Um, it's the weirdest consistency I've ever felt in a mask. 
but yeah it doesn't go hard which means I can put my dinner on and eat it without disturbing it you know so I'm gonna eat my dinner chill and then I'm gonna do my tan before I go to bed <laughs> hello our fitness is good as it's gonna get honey good morning I started to do my foundation and then I remembered I was filming Tanned last night if you know you know I am, um, what are these called? They have a name, don't they? I just know my brother bought it for me for Christmas and I literally don't take it off. As soon as I shower, on it goes. Get up in the morning, on it goes. In the evening when I'm a bit chilly, on it goes. <laughs> so I feel like I want to bring you in a little bit closer because I'm a little bit far away. Hold up, grab the wall. We're gonna sort this hair out after makeup, but it is makeup time. I'm gonna put a little bit more foundation on because um, <sighs> my face looks like shit. Look, over the years, I've realised I'm just not, like, a makeup gal. Like, I'm not someone that collects palettes or wears, like, different coloured eyeshadows. I literally just know what works for me and then I just use that constantly. So, I use um, L'Oreal True Match Foundation. When I tan, I'm in the shade 4N. Um, I also have the palest one that they do because I quite often mix them. And especially, you know, when your tan's fading... You change like shades constantly, so yeah. Four N at the minute. We got a fresh tan. We got fresh Bondi Sands Aero Tan. I'm gonna put a little bit of the pale in because your girl's looking real orange red now. Do you know what I mean? I still have the Sleek Solstice palette. I remember when that was a big thing a long time ago. Never forget that nail. Growing up, I had like the greasiest skin, like Jesus Christ. Like I've obviously still got acne now, but when I was younger, oh, it was bad. Um, yeah, I had like the greasiest acne prone skin, but as I've got older, it's just not, not as greasy. So I can actually wear dewy foundations and not feel like my whole face is going to slide off. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I know I need to wash this, all right? I'm only human. Then I'm going to use the Maybelline... Um, <laughs> then I'm going to use the <laughs> Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser thing. This is the colour Ivory. Fucking love this. If you used to watch me when I was like 16 and I had like a whole beauty channel going on. Um, if, you used to, if you're one of those people that used to watch me... <sighs> How the hell did I sit there and do like a full makeup video? Because I actually can't cope. Like it's the most boring thing to have ever existed in life. So what I'm going to do is speed right through this because I do it exactly the same as every other bloody human being on the planet. This is the Collection Lasted Perfection Concealer in Biscuit. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows, maybe a little bit of eyeshadow. I'll just like run you through quickly everything that I use, okay? Because We're not a makeup artist, darling. We're just saying. Why have why have why do I keep doing that accent? Cut. Cut! my Fenty Glow lip gloss. This is Sweet Mouth. Anyway, gloss. Okay. I mean, she did snap a bit. Right, I've got to sort this hair out. 
that's therefore gonna fall so here i'm not gonna do much to it i'm not gonna lie i am just gonna like straighten the ends make sure the front doesn't look all weird um but i am gonna sort this out now i am a naturally blonde gal but obviously i haven't had my hair done in a long time because pandemic so my little trick for getting through these times <laughs> talcum powder i'm a big fan of dry shampoo batiste dry shampoo the one but this overrules everything it lasts so bloody long i mean i'm not sure how good it is for your scalp putting talcum powder on it but i've been using it for years my mom has always done it so i just stole that idea from her also my nose ring has made an appearance put my necklace back on got my watch you know we're all blinged out. I'm not going to change my earrings today because, yes, I say earrings funny. Earrings. Shut up. I'm Welsh. <laughs> so I'm going to do, even though, yes, I have freshly washed my hair, I'm going to stick talcum powder all over the roots. Only sad thing about doing this is, um, is that it makes your hair less shiny. But... It makes it look so much more blonde. I'm not even joking. Look. Roots who? Who is she? I mean, I've completely talcum powdered the front of my black top. Didn't think that one through, but whatever. Make sure you don't have talc scalp because I quite often have that. I'm literally going to leave my hair as it is. I'm feeling this ABBA <laughs> 70s thing. It's got going on. I'm going to get my full outfit on show you the finished product i feel like i snapped do i fit in the frame no so i decided to go my hair up i just thought it looked better with like this shirt but i'll show you my outfit this top is just like a basic top from h&m i think the leather shirt is nasty gal it's like an olive green i really like it um the jeans are also nasty gal i haven't got like the facilities. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> to show you like the full thing, but belt is pre mark. Jeans are nasty gal. They're like baggy and rolled up at the bottom. And then I've got my yellow check vans. Did I do this for no reason considering I can't go anywhere? Yes. But do I feel a lot better about myself? Yes. Is that all that matters? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I actually ended up wearing, by the way catfish as fuck. 